In this video, we're going to take a look at the Dot Journaling book by Hannah Bielensen. I hope I've pronounced her last name correctly. Um, so as the cover suggests, this is a bullet journal guidebook. It has some recommended supplies, some page layout ideas, some um, practice pages, and also just like help on what is bullet journaling. So if you are new to bullet journaling or you need some inspiration, um, then guidebooks like these can be a really good resource. I have done reviews for a few other um, Dot Journaling guidebooks, which I'll have linked below if you wanted to check them out. So this book is quite big. It's 7.5 inches wide by 9.5 inches high. So the example pages are nice and big. Um, one thing I will say, though, is that because there's so many practice pages, it actually ends up being quite a thin book. I would say about a third is lost to practice pages. So then it doesn't end up having as many um, page layout ideas as some of the other doc journaling um, books that I've seen, which I'll have linked down below. So let's have a look. I'm going to go quite quick because um, there's a lot of pages. So you can always just pause the video if you want to have a closer look or um, we'll zoom in on any of the pages. So the publisher for this one is Peter Pauper Press. If you haven't heard of them, they do have some nice um, bullet journal supplies, stationery. They have a dot grid notebook, which is thin paper, but they're good for doing practice um, pages. So if you want to have a go with different layout ideas, then I always get a cheap notebook for that. Um, and then I do my real spreads in a better quality notebook that has 160 GSM, like your Archer and all of your scribbles that matter, all those kind of um, more well-known um, notebooks with thicker pages. Okay, so the contents here, you can see here's the stuff that's included. Um, there aren't too many spread options for each like type. So you get six for lists, you know, six for trackers. I have seen other books that give you more layout ideas. So I feel like if you if you don't want to be overwhelmed with lots of layouts, then maybe go with a book like this. But if you've been bullet journaling for a while, you might need some more um, inspiration than what you'll get from this book. So it could be a good gift for someone that's new to bullet journaling, but if you've been doing it for a while, um, it might not be as helpful. So the basics here, Everyone probably already knows about different keys and symbols and signifiers. Again, you can just pause the video if you want to read that. Nice big um, example. Got some index options. That's that cheap notebook by Peter Pauper Press that I was talking about. I think it's only like 10 bucks. So really cheap if you want to have a notebook where you're like drafting up your spreads or you're just doing um, lots of to-do lists or you want really like messy notebook and then you have your nice decorated one in a better quality notebook then cheap ones like that are a good option some recommended supplies love the rainbow colors there now we go into the different spread ideas so for future spreads they split it out with a two-page um, spread with a little bit about the layout which again you can pause to read and then what the layout looks like finished and then you get two pages where you can have a go at drafting it up um, yourself with the boxes already on the page for you the dot grid spacing is five mil and these dots are quite bold gray there's a bit of space on um, the margin here I would just ignore that dot there it's gonna be too close to rule anything there's a little bit down the bottom smidge up the top and then on the right here you'll see at the back on the back practice pages the dots placement move on the edge so i feel like that's a bit of a flaw and then you can see here there's like none on the edge there so i think that's a little inconsistent um the other thing to keep in mind is because this is a much larger page size if you do use the practice pages and then you're trying to shrink it down to a notebook which is more common so like an a5 page size you're going to have to proportionally like reduce everything and recount the dot spacing so i mean i like the big page size that it's easier to read but i'm just like mm, i'm not sure if they needed the practice pages i think it would have been better if they removed the practice pages and just filled the whole notebook with with spreads like this good examples to give you ideas i think that would have been a much better option Let's go to the monthly spreads the layout ideas themselves um, aren't too bad. I feel like some of them I've seen, you know, done before all over Instagram. And you, even if you just go on Google Images, you'll get heaps of ideas. Blogs, I have plenty on mine. There's plenty of other blogs out there about um, bullet journaling. So I kind of feel like if you're paying for a guidebook, it would be good if they had included some more page layout ideas. Let's go to weekly spreads. One by the hour, 
Another one with a single page to do. Love this one with the colored. I feel like this would look really nice if you did different rainbow colors for each day. Even with just the blue, it looks really pretty. Like that you've got the habit trackers incorporated with the weekly spread. And it would be really convenient having this already drawn up so you don't have to even rule it up yourself because I think that one could be quite time consuming. The trapezoids, or trapezoids, how do you pronounce it? Daily spreads. I feel like this one's a bit of a cop out. Like really, it's not that hard to come up with that. They could have done a bit more of a creative layout, I think. And they kind of shortchange you too because they only just give you the example of one, not the full layout. Pass by the hour. Daily tracking, mood focused. I quite like this one. Different boxes, some trackers. That one's always effective when you color in the background. Some highlighters, mood tracker, packing list. I thought there would be some more trackers in here, like maybe cleaning trackers, for example. I feel like I suppose there's a chores one. I feel like you can never have enough cleaning trackers. Some lists, the sticky notes over the top, if you wanted to, or just colour the boxes with highlighters. This one I did really like, actually, I feel like this one's a bit more unique, where she's drawn the state, and then talking about the things to do, like if you're doing some travel planning, so I do really like this, I think this is cool to put in your bullet journal. That's very effective with all the rainbow colours. going some mistakes section i feel like that's all pretty obvious yeah use some white out put some washi tape over the top wow that's real like no one knew that before this book not so i kind of think some of this is a bit filler i really wish they put some more page layout ideas in here and then at the back here we have the practice pages so there are 20 so like 10 double-sided practice pages with that same five mil dot grid i do love the bright white paper I'm always a fan of bright white paper. Um, if we keep going all the way to the back of the notebook, there's no pocket folder. It just ends with the last dot grid page. And then like a little supplies from Peter Proper. That's that notebook again. So my overall thoughts, um, as you probably heard as we went through the video, I love a like book with inspiration and I didn't get a lot of it from this book. I think if you're new to bullet journaling, then yep, go ahead, could be a good gift. Um, but otherwise, I think some of the other dot journaling books that I've reviewed had more ideas. Um, and even just going onto like Google Images, Instagram, blogs, I feel like that's going to give you more um, inspiration with different layouts than what you're going to get from this book. So good idea, um, but I think it could have been a bit more content in the book itself. So I hope you found this review helpful. Um, again, those links will be down below to some other bullet journal books that I've reviewed um, and I'll have some links to some blog posts where I've done some page light ideas if you were looking for those because um, you're not really going to get too many from this book. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I usually do a new review video every couple of weeks. Um, planner reviews, bullet journal reviews, guidebooks like this. Um, so see you in the next one.